I've managed to secure the services of two researchers to assist me. Well, technically three, but I don't count Martin as he's unlikely to contribute anything but delays. But at least I got Martin out of the Institute for an afternoon, which is always a welcome relief. I sent Martin to look into this Angela character. Not that I want him to get chopped up, of course, but someone had to. Useless ass. By the way, have you seen Martin? Oh, he's off sick this week. Stomach problems, I think. Blessed relief, if you ask me. Martin, are you sure about this? I just want to make a statement about what happened to me. I mean, it, it's what we do. No, what we do is research statements, usually those made by liars and the mentally unwell. Well, I need to tell someone what happened, and you can vouch for the soundness of my mind, can't you? That is beside the point. Look, if you're that worried about it, it doesn't need to be an official statement. I just, I want a record of it. Fine, you're right. I suppose. The daft thing is, I wasn't even going to call anyone for help. I just wanted to take a picture of the thing. To prove to you that it happened. You were always so quick to dismiss these statements, and I wanted proof for you. You're sure about all of this, Martin? Look, I'm not going to lie to you about something like this, John. I like my job. Most of the time. Very well. In which case, there's a room in the archives I used to sleep when working late. I suggest you stay there for now. I'll talk to Elias about whether we can get extra security, but the archives have enough locks for now. It's also supposed to be humidity controlled, and though it hasn't been working for some time, it does mean it's well sealed. Nothing will be sneaking through any window cracks. Oh. I... Uh, okay. Uh, thanks. Um... To be honest, I didn't expect you to take it seriously. Martin. Good lord, man. If you're going to be staying in the archives, at least have the decency to put some trousers on. Oh, God, sorry. Sorry, I didn't think you were in until later. Not even seven yet. Look, you need to get some sleep. I'll see you later. Then why... Do because you I'm si scared, Martin. Because when I record these statements, it feels... It feels like I'm being watched. I... I lose myself a bit. And then when I come back, it's like... Like, if I admit there may be any truth to it, whatever's watching will... know... somehow. A scepticism, feigning ignorance, it just felt safer. Well... It wasn't. No. No, it wasn't. Why are you here, Martin? Well, well Prentice is out there and you can't run. I mean, so... in the archive, in general, why haven't you quit? Are you giving me my review now? No. We're clearly doing a whole heart-to-heart -heart thing, and truth be told, the question's been bothering me. You've been living in the archives for four months, constant threat of... This, sleeping with a fire extinguisher and a corkscrew. Even you must be aware that that's not normal for an archiving job. Why are you still here? Don't really know. I just am. It didn't feel right to just leave. I've typed up a few resignation letters, but I just couldn't bring myself to hand them in. I'm trapped here. It's like I can't... Move on, and the more I struggle, the more I'm stuck. Martin, you... You're not... Uh... You didn't die here, did you? What? What? No, what? No, I just... No, the, just the way you phrased that. Did you I... think I was a ghost? No, it's... No, no, that's just... The, whatever web these statements have caught you in, well... I'm there too. We all are, I think. A ghost? Really? Shut up, Martin. Alright. Are you okay? Fine. Painkillers are starting to wear off, but 
it's fine. Statement of Martin Blackwood, archival assistant, etc., etc. Go. Right. Well, I was doing some background checks for case 0081709 when you and Sasha started screaming. Yes, so I yes, yes. Ch- I was there. I was with you for almost the whole time, and that tape survived just fine. Sorry. It's fine. I just... I only need from when you got separated, from when you got lost in the tunnels. No, I mean... I'm sorry I left you. Oh, Martin. It was an accident. I thought you were two were with me. I mean, the worms came at us, and they were so much faster, and then there was the gas and the running, and I, I, I thought you were right behind me. But when I turned around, you were gone. You were both gone. It was an accident. I know. It's fine, Martin. Everybody's... Everyone's fine. I just need you to tell me what happened next, and then it's finished. I have a small jar on my desk of what are supposed to be her ashes. Though I don't believe it for a second. I think Martin just gave me a jar of dust to try and calm me down. I tried to come back earlier, but Martin wouldn't hear of it. Almost threw me out of the archive. Is he hiding something? (laughs) No, of course not. He's probably just legitimately concerned for my health. I've been watching Martin. He's been very attentive to my needs and recovery since I returned to work, almost to the exclusion of his own tasks. Previously, I might have ascribed such ministrations to his own lax work ethic, but in the stress of Prentice's attack, I am sure I glanced moments of competence or even cunning that are beyond what his previous work would indicate. Is he playing the fool? Purposefully failing in his tasks to delay or hinder my investigations? It's possible. He has also shown remarkable interest in my own theories as to who killed Gertrude, one thing's becoming clear, though. She did not trust the Magnus Institute, something that I can certainly... I was just going simpl- down to the cafe. Did you want a sandwich? Uh, that, that depends. Are you, are you going to keep hovering around me if I go to the canteen? I just worry. You needed five stitches after you accidentally stabbed yourself with the bread knife, if you're still claiming that's what happened. I am. Then you'll forgive me for worrying when you use sharp knives. Oh, fine. I'll come with. Just give me a second to grab my coat. Sure. Right, I... Uh... I believe you. Why are you smiling? Yes, I just... Um... I won't mention it to Elias. Just between us. So you don't mind? To be quite honest, Martin, I'm... I'm really rather relieved. Just under a lot of pressure. You know how messed up he's been since Prentice. How messed up he's been... Of course, I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean that you were. Just no, because I didn't start stalking my co-workers. Maybe try talking to him. Sure, like he doesn't already look at me like I'm a murderer. Okay, okay, we've just got to let him work through this. I suggested therapy, but he just says no. Well, we so need to do something. Yeah, maybe. Are you sure you... I don't want to infect anyone else. Best you stay home. Wouldn't it... Make more sense if you went home. Uh, are you feverish? We should probably get you to a doctor. Look, there's a walk-in centre no. nearby. I can. No. We can't just leave him. Yeah, we can. <sighs> I'm going. Don't lie to me. I don't. Everyone I've talked to says you and him were close. What? Did they? I mean, I mean, who said that? I, I, I guess I mean more than the rest. Yeah, Did okay, he have but... any? I mean, I'm glad he's back, and I guess he seems to trust us a bit more now, but. And and I'm glad we can help. Of course I am. It's just, what he's doing seems really dangerous. And I get that he's worried about us. I mean, we worry about him as well. I worry. You didn't tell them I'd been kidnapped, though, did you? It wouldn't have helped matters. Martin's research, at least, would have been sloppier. And it... Oh, and... I suppose I... I did tell Georgie I'd try to talk to Martin. You're uh, sure you don't mind? No, 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 it's fine. I, I've kind of stopped noticing, if I'm honest. They just sort of turn themselves on these days. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm so sorry, John. I, Elias didn't even tell any of us that you'd been kidnapped. Oh, no, I didn't know. I, hey, no one else was hey, telling hey, me. Hey, and there wasn't it's any... all right, it's all right. Elias didn't tell anyone. There was, there was no way you could have known. I mean, I wasn't exactly here before. No, you weren't. 
but I am sure that if you could have been, you would have. I, are you alright? They didn't hurt you? Oh, or? no, no, I'm, I'm okay. I, I mean, my skin's in better condition than ever. Is that a weird thing to say? A bit. So... Are you coming back, or...? I, I, I don't know. Pro probably not yet. There's a lot of... I, I think I might be on a, a bit of a treasure hunt. Oh? Uh, treasure in the sense of the the world not ending. Oh. I will keep in touch. I'm, I'm going to need all of you digging into stuff. I Elias mentioned... He said you'd been reading statements. Oh. Uh... Uh, yeah, um, well, he thought it might help. Right, I, so I mean, they're not, they haven't, you've been okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, was, it wasn't fun, but, I mean, if it, if it helps, okay, then I... Okay, I... if you're sure, just make sure the others help you, all right? Statements can be, <laughs> if you're not used to them, it can be a, a bit weird. Sh sure. Anyway, I, I should I should go. I've I've got a, f a few leads uh, yeah. to follow up. R right, right. I I'm sorry, Martin. We haven't. I know we haven't talked much since Sasha and, and everything. Well, I mean, it's not too late, you know, unless the world ends. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, Martin's always been lovely to you. Hmm. I don't know, I mean, you should have seen him when I turned up last year. I think he thought I was trying to steal his precious archivist. Ah, I got the exact same when John was hiding out and came to me with his source on the inside stuff. Martin was not impressed. Oof. That boy needs to relax. Or at least find someone else to fuss over. Yeah, he's got it bad. Do you know if he and John ever... No clue, and not interested. Although, according to Georgie, John doesn't. Like, at all. John called. He's in America now, wanted her to help with something, but I had to make an excuse for her. He, he doesn't need that kind of thing on his mind right now. I just hope he gets back soon. About spiders. Glad John didn't have to read this one. Anyway, I know he's not a fan. Not what we're looking John, for. John, but... John! What? I, I think I found it. What, what, what is it? What? <laughs> I think you're going to want to see this. Good Lord, is, is that... Looks like it. Where the hell did she get this? I mean, Martin, don't touch it. Sorry? Is it stable? How I should don't... I know? I don't even know what kind it I, is. I mean, it, it looks like... Before. Are you just saying that because it's the only plastic explosive you've ever heard well, of? Well, I, I mean that, that is to say... so many other like, things. Martin, like... stop trying to touch the plastic sorry, explosives. Sorry, sorry. Guys? Just put your hand okay. in your pockets or, Look, or I said, something. I said I'm sorry. Guys! What? What about Martin? What about me? He should stay behind. What? Really? Why? Too many people might attract attention. No, no, I can help. I've been reading the statements. Quite right. Uh, probably best he does stay behind. What? Well, so you have a backup if John doesn't make it? <laughs> I'm sure that won't be necessary. What? No! Martin, just... You can do more good here. And aside from some uh, office gossip, which I, I'm not sure is necessary uh, or conducive to uh, a workplace that... Yeah, it, it's natural. It, it's it's normal. There's uh, there's no, there's no sinister hidden motives, or it's fine. It, it it's fine. I need them to be safe. I need him to be okay. Oh, oh Christ! I hope John doesn't actually listen to these. Good Lord, is Martin becoming some sort of spider person? No, John. It's an expression. Chill out. Besides, spiders are fine. I mean, yes, people are scared of them, obviously, but actual spiders, they just want to help you out with flies. <sighs> just... Just don't die, John. Or, or Tim, or Basira, or... Daisy, I guess. Just... Should everyone please make it back home? 
did John put you up to this? You think I'm doing this for him? No. It's just the sort of half-baked scheme he'd come up with. And I'm well aware that you'll do just about anything for him. I and I don't need to read your mind for that one. Do you re... Is it so hard to believe that I hate you as well? Well, I hope you've got something better than that pathetic dig at my feelings for John. It's baffling, really. Such loyalty to someone who really treats you very badly. Oh, is that supposed to be... what a revelation? <laughs> you know I really should have gone for that. Found something that would finally manage to shatter that precious image you have of him. Hi, John. How are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same here. It's... It's bad all over, you know? Oh, they're getting by, I suppose. Um... Um... Basir is keeping things ticking over and Melanie is... Well... Well... <laughs> Melanie is Melanie. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, just thought I'd stop by, check in and that, you know. See how you're, um... We really need you, John. Everything's... It's bad. I, I don't know how much longer we can do this. We... I need you. And... I, I know that you're not... I know there's no way to... But we need you. John, John, please, just... Please. If, if there's anything left in you that can still see us, or, or some power that you've still got, or, or, or something, anything, please. Please. I can't. And... Melanie and Martin, I, I guess. Honestly, I'm surprised Martin isn't... What? Oh, God. The the plant, it's... Martin is... Is he okay? What did Elias do? What did he do to Martin? Water, please. Sure thing. Oh, or uh, a cup of... Haven't seen Martin about yet. Yeah, he comes and goes. He's busy. Well, he seems it. Working for Peter Lucas. Don't be too hard on him, John. You're a... situation. It hit him. Hard. The investigation is tricky. I don't want to impose on Basira and... Obviously Melanie and... Martin aren't available... Still no sign of Peter Lucas, of course. Or Mar Wait. Wait. Martin! Martin! Oh. Hi, John. Martin, it's... I, I haven't seen you. Yeah. Sorry. Where, where, have, where have you been? I, I mean, I, I thought... No, no, no I've, I've been here. I just, um, you know, been busy. Busy? Yeah. Right. Working for Lucas. No, P Peter's... Uh, it's complicated. Right. Anyway, I should... Uh, how, how are you, Martin? Is everything... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm... I'm all right. Uh, everything's... fine. Right. Um, how's... how's the poetry? Oh, uh, well, I haven't exactly had a lot of time recently, so... Yes, uh, of course. You've been busy. Yeah. Look, John, I've really got to go, oh, so... Um, okay. I, I'm sorry. Oh, well, just... well, it, it was good. To, it was good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm now sure Martin is actually avoiding me. It's because he's back, isn't it? He's back, so now you're going to be around again. Listening in. <laughs> you missed him, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Which isn't a great sign, if I'm being completely honest. You talk to him. I, I, I tried not to. I, I, I didn't mean to... You talk to him. And that's understandable, Martin. Of course it is. Please don't think I'm upset. It's just... Not ideal. Shows how much work we still have ahead of us. If I keep avoiding him, people will get suspicious. <laughs> They're already suspicious, Martin. That's not the problem. I had hoped that all this time apart would have given you the space you needed, but... You said he'd probably never wake up. And he beat the odds. Which is good. But it does make things more complicated. It doesn't actually change anything. A simple hello isn't going to make any difference We've to... We've been... When all this is over, I'm telling him everything, with or without your permission. Martin, when it's over, you won't want to. Hmm. But he will be safe. They all will. Yeah. Do they? Who else? Did Martin say something? Martin? Uh, John, how did you... I just... Uh, I know sometimes. It's, it's a whole thing. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, sorry, but I... I um... You have to leave, suddenly. John, come on, we've been over this. No, it's fine. I know you've got... Whatever this is, I'm not going to question you. Thank you. Even if it looks like you're doing something really stupid. Sorry. It's okay. I get it. I just... I worry. You're working for someone really bad. Yes, I'm not an idiot, John, but it's no worse than working for something really bad, so... At least the eye hasn't gone after our own. Lucas has vanished. Two people. Yeah, and if it wasn't for me, it would have been a lot more. This isn't helping anything. I just... I'm sorry. Basira's off doing God knows what and I can't talk to Melanie. Mm-hmm. I suppose... I miss you. I'm just... Lonely. Yeah. I, uh... I heard about your mother. Yeah. I am so sorry. Thank you. It's... It's better this way. If, if you do need to talk, I, I... I can't. No. No, of course. Listen, Martin, you should know... John... Daisy might be alive. Basira Stop. is... Stop, please. I, I shouldn't know any of this. I, you know, I, I really need to go. I, I'm right. Please stop finding me. What happened, Martin? You died. I came back. Yeah. And I'm not going to let it happen again. Wait. Wait, what? Closer. What is? My, 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 my anchor, my... Are we going to talk about John? Do we need to? I... Because, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what's been going on with him these past couple of weeks. Oh, oh yeah, sure. Though actually, he gave it more consideration than I thought he would. He's not a moron. If you say so. Regardless, he's in there three days, and then what do you know? He manages to pull himself out of the coffin like a grubby Jesus. And he even brings a penitent thief along in the form of your pet murderer. Does this seem about right to you so far? Yeah. Now, from my point of view, 
so far, none of this has been any of my business. We have bigger concerns than this little soap opera you call an archive. <laughs> what does puzzle me, though, and I mean that genuinely, is why you were piling tape recorders onto the coffin while John was in there. It's a question, Martin. It's, it's not an accusation. I don't know. And I just felt like it might help. You need to stop moping. I what? You need to stop swanning around, being all sad. I'm, I'm not swanning around. Ooh, I'm so alone and a monster. I am alone. Martin Busy is... Busy doing paperwork. Not like he's dead. You know, I don't care if John hears this. Come on, Martin. It's been so long since I've seen you. Let's not start with lies. I notice you haven't told him either. Yeah, well, I'm still not sure I really believe it. And I don't... I'm... Worried he might charge off into another coffin. I'm not the one who knows all about this stuff. I wish... No. No, it's fine. I'm fine. I... I can do this. I don't know what Peter's planning, but my, my guess is that it might involve something below the Institute. Hopefully by the time you get these tapes, I'll have something more concrete for you. Good luck, John. I... Stay safe. I'm just worried about Martin. Christ. Every other avatar gets to have their feelings burned right out of them, but me, I've just got to sit in mine. I know he said he had everything under control. I need to trust him. Whatever he's doing with Peter, he's... He knows what he's doing. Probably. I just... I need him to be okay. I just do. If I knew what his plan was, if I knew what Peter was doing, if I just... Can I? No, no, I, I can't think like that, though. I, I can't let myself, because, I mean, if, if he's already gone, then all of this is just... The worst part is I don't even want to talk to him about it. I'm just... I suppose I'm just getting comfortable with the distance. Cut off. <laughs> Lonely. Mind you, Peter's not wrong. It really is easier than actually just trying to communicate with people. I should probably try to get him this tape. Let him know what happened. That someone came into... But then, <laughs> would that just come across as an accusation? Because like, I don't want to... And then, and then I guess he'd hear this bit as well, so... I... I... What do I do? Oh, for God's sake, can he not just stay safe for like, like ten minutes? <laughs> I really miss having people who know their way around a computer better than I do. I've been meaning to ask the tape, the one of the, uh, my victim. You said Martin gave it to you. Yeah. How was he? How did he look? Was he, uh... I don't know. I didn't see him. He just left it on my desk with a note. Oh. Right. Yeah. Can I ask what it said? Um, yeah. It said, uh, talk to him. <laughs> you must be Martin. Yeah. Has Melanie been talking about me? Oh, um, John used to go on about you a lot. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait, I thought Melanie Georgie and John Georgie were... Oh, it's same, same Georgie. Oh. Ah, ah, so you and John... Aren't really talking anymore. Right. Why not? Excuse me? Why aren't you talking? Um, because I think he's going to destroy himself. And anyone who lets him get too close. And I don't want that to include me. Or Melanie. Maybe he just needs some help. I did help him. As much as I safely could. But he just 
carried on anyway yeah, and it'll do I that. realized if I kept trying it was going to hurt me more than I was willing to accept. Well, sometimes the helping people hurts. Sure, but that doesn't mean everything painful helps. Sometimes people have problems that will wreck you long before you can make a dent in them. And some people don't want help, they just want other people suffering with them. John doesn't want that. He doesn't know what he wants. And from the sound of things, he's run out of time to figure it out. It's easy to pass judgement from the outside. Yeah, John found the tapes you made for him. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Found a stash of them a while ago. I made sure he shared with the class. Well, there you go then. John may be going through a whole, we have to trust Martin thing, but I'm not. As far as I can see, you're either compromised or you're being played. And I want to know which. I didn't know John had listened to them already. Well, he has. He seems to think you'll come to him when you need him. Don't tell John. Please. Fine. I can't promise he won't just know it, though. How is he? Hungry. But he's keeping it together. That's good. Peter. Look, Peter... Martin. Are you... John! God, don't do that! Sorry, I, I just... No, it's fine. I, you just surprised me. That's... Jesus, are you alright? You, you look like hell. Oh, right. I am... Um... Kind of weak. Hungry, I guess, sort of. I, I've been trying to avoid being, um, sticking to old statements. Thank you for your little intervention, by the way. Look, I wouldn't have had to if you had Yes, no, I know, I'm sorry. I, that didn't come out right. Honestly, thank you. It's been hell, but I, I did need to hear it. Oh, um, good. Are the others helping? Oh, They've been keeping a very close eye on me. But that's not important. No, well, it is important, but it's, it's, it's not why I'm here. John, I... calm down. What do you want? I know. I know what you said, but I just... I think I've found a way for us to leave the Institute. Okay. Yeah. But it, it's... It's pretty... Drastic. What, well, you've got to gouge your eyes out or something? Fuck off. Right. Uh, right. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, like, like permanently? I, or? I, I don't know. I mean, I suppose. If your vision comes back, the beholding probably does as well. But probably. But it's not like it's easy to only blind yourself temporarily anyway. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you told the others, or...? No, you're the first. Why? Because... Because I, I trust you. I, I, I'm trying to think about what to do, and I... Well, if I did try this, I... I don't want to do it alone. Well, we could leave here. You and me. Escape. John, don't do this. Do what? Make it my decision. I'm not... No, I mean, could you, could, you, could you even survive at this stage? Is there anything else keeping you alive? I, I don't know. I don't know. But maybe it's worth it. The risk, you, you and me, together getting out of here. One way or another. John. No. No, of course. This was stupid. You have your own plans going on, don't you? Just... Look, I need to see this thing through with Peter to the end. If if what he's saying is even half true, I need to be there. But what if you don't? I mean, we could just leave. I mean, whatever their plan is for me, I am damn sure that doing that isn't it. I could derail everything. We could derail everything and then just leave. <laughs> what? It's nothing, it's just... It's just ironic. That's all. Martin. <laughs> Who are you kidding, John? You're not going to do any of that. I, I, I could. But you won't. That's why you came to me, isn't it? You know I can't do it, not now. You don't want to blind yourself. You don't want to die. What you want is a reason to not do those things. So, you come to me. Well, you're welcome. Because I can't follow you on this one.
The lonely's really got you, hasn't it? You know, I think it always did. Maybe. Well, I'll be here. If you ever do need me. I hope so. Just don't wait too long, okay? If you haven't already. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I know he's been listening to the tape, so I guess I'll have to do. I think I still care that he hears my voice. It's hard to tell sometimes. How much do I actually care? How much is just feeling that I should care? This, uh... This changes things, I, I think. If Martin found this, read it already, then perhaps he's having second thoughts about, about Peter and the extinction. This, this could be a cry for help, his way of asking me to follow him without Peter knowing, or... Or what? I don't understand. Martin's been quite clear he doesn't want my help. Am I just hearing what I want to hear? I need to know what's in there. What's at the centre? It's important, Martin. I need to know. When I first came to you, I thought I had lost everything. John was dead, my mother was dead, the job I had put everything into had trapped me into spreading evil, and I... I really didn't care what happened to me. I told myself I was trying to protect the others, but honestly, we didn't even like each other. Maybe I just thought joining up with you would be a good way to get killed. And then... John came back, and... And suddenly I had a reason. I had to keep your attention on me. Make you feel in control so you didn't take it out on him. And if that meant drifting further away, so what? I'd already grieved for him, and if it meant now saving him, it was worth it. But for Martin... Time is very much of the essence. Where is he? Peter Lucas has him. Cast him into the lonely. And with every passing moment, he gets further away from you. How do I bring him back? From out here? Impossible. You want me to follow him? No, John. You want you to follow him. I simply want you to know that if you do so, you are almost certainly not coming back. Go into the lonely willingly is as good as death. How do I do it? It's odd, really. You each think you're so focused on the other, but how much do you really know each other? How much time have you spent together when not working, or bickering, or fleeing from that latest thing that wants to kill you? So, what are you seeking? The image you've each created of the other. The people you think you love don't exist. Not really. And that's a very lonely place to be. Shut up! Martin! He doesn't want to see you. Then let me hear that from him. Martin. John? I, I'm here. I, I came for you. Why? I thought you might be lost. Are you real? Yes. Yes, I, I, I am. C come on, we've got to get out of here. No. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Why? This is where I should be. This is where I should be. It feels right. Martin, feels don't right. say that. Nothing hurts here. That's it. It's just quiet. It's just quiet. Even the fear is gentle here. This, this isn't right. This isn't you. It is, though. I really loved you, you know. Martin, listen, he, he's done something. Peter's done something to mess with your... Damn it! Martin! Martin! I tried to tell you. He's gone. He's gone. He made his choice. And it wasn't you. It was for me, though. I'm the reason he... I did this to him as much as you. Martin. He's gone, Martin. He's gone. 
His only wish was to die alone. His only wish was to die alone. Tough. Now, listen to me, Martin. L listen. Hello, John. Hello. Listen, I know you think you want to be here. I know you think it's safer and... Well, maybe it is. But we need you. I need you. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not really. Everyone's alone, but we all survive. I don't just want to survive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Martin. Martin, look at me. Look at me and tell me what you see. I see. I see. I see you. I see you. John. John. <laughs> I see you. Oh, Martin. <laughs> I was on my own. I was all on my own. Not anymore. Come on. Let's go home. How? Don't worry. I know the way. You're unpacked then? Hmm? Oh, yes. Much as I can without any wardrobes to speak of, at least. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not exactly the Ritz. Well, it technically still belongs to Daisy, so... I'm just glad it's not some sort of kill room. Or, or it is, and she just cleaned it up really well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think we're okay. Not much in the way of food, is there? Oh, n no, not yet. I was actually going to head down into the village to go pick something up. Hmm. Maybe give Basira a call to check in, because Daisy apparently couldn't pick a safe house with a signal. I so. think that's rather the point. Hmm. Anyway, don't tell me the phone box down there doesn't appeal to your retro aesthetic. It might, maybe. You'll be okay here? I'll be fine. Probably. I'm sure it'll work fine. Cool. Well, as fun as listening to you monologue is, hmm. I will give you some privacy. Go for a walk. Let me know if you see any good cows. Well, obviously, I'm going to tell you if I see any good cows. <sighs> wake up. John, 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 wake up! No! Uh, Martin? Knock, knock. Who's there? Just me. <laughs> Just me who? Uh, what? Never mind. Uh, okay. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Define today. How are you feeling in general, then? Unchanged. I don't know if it'll ever change again. <laughs> I brought you some tea. No, you didn't. Uh, what? Uh, y yes, I did. <laughs> we ran out of tea the day before the change. You said the little shop in the village didn't have any more. I'll go. That isn't tea. What? No, of course it's tea. <laughs> 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 what? What? I, I made that. I, I, I thought I'm was... sorry, Martin. Things don't work like that anymore. Like what? Like normal. This is no longer a world where you can trust... What, tea? Comfort. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, pop down the village? See if they have any coffee instead? It's gone. Martin and the people. Yes, I know, John. I'm not ignorant. I'm just, I'm just not ready for complete despair yet. Like me. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. You know I'm here for you. Yes. Yes, I do. All right. All right. Thank you. I noticed you didn't jump out at Martin when he had a birthday. No, he's way too jumpy as it is. What? We were worried he might damage himself. Hey! Well, I preferred going out for ice cream anyway. You went for ice cream? Yes, you were there. You had rum and raisin and taught us all about emulsifiers. Oh, right, yes. I, I remember. Bye. Hey. Hi. You, uh, 
listening to the tapes again. You should get some sleep. I... Can't. I, I, I can't. I don't think I do anymore. Sleep. How long's it been now? I don't know. It's not like there are days to count anymore. All the clocks are stopped and... Well, I haven't yet. I get tired, but it doesn't feel the same. Probably for the best. Sleep doesn't look... pleasant. No, it's... It's not. I couldn't wake you. I'm sorry. It's not. You're not the one who ended the world. Are we still safe? Yes, it... It doesn't want to harm me. And me? I won't let it. Um... Thanks. John, it's not your fault. Martin, can we not do this again? Sorry. I'm just... I'm mourning a world I killed. I know. And we're all trapped in its rotting corpse. Enough, John. It just... It hurts me to see you wallowing like this. Well, some of us weren't able to cut ourselves off from the world before it ended. That's not fair. No, it's not. I'm, I'm sorry. I just... It hurts. I know. I need time. I know. But we can't stay in this cabin forever. Why not? It, it's quiet here. And I have you. Oh, it's... Uh, I love you. I just... I need more time. It's alright. It's alright. I'm good at waiting. Thank you. The screams may linger on the distant breeze, and your eye may wander beyond the curtains from time to time, but you and the one you love are, it seems, safe. There within the thing that pretends to be a cabin is the one you love. You hold each other, whisper words of reassurance, but the place knows this comfort to be a lie, and laces upon it instead the awful fear of losing what you have of it being stripped away by the chaos that waits for you beyond the walls. Hold each other, it croons. Be happy. But know always that this happiness is a lie, built on the squirming bones of those whose suffering you have caused. It will not let you feel the warmth of joy that this love may claim to gift. The one you love is always near, so close that refuge sometimes feels a prison. And yet your voice does not echo when you call to them. And they find they sometimes cannot hear it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Martin, it's going to be a hard journey. One yeah, in yeah, which yeah. So we... I've actually had a couple of bags packed for a while now. Oh. Um, I found some rope in the attic and I packed oh, that I... with the maps. Uh, Martin... No, no, no. I, I know what you're going to say. What good are maps when the very earth has... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes. But I, I've packed them anyway because you never know. Martin... I, I, actually, I actually found a stash of tea under the kitchen sink. I, I realise we don't need to eat or whatever, but, you know, that doesn't yes, mean that we... Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right. We've got this. Apparently so. We're not even going to try? We've got your lighter, maybe we can we just... We can't put... fight the world, Martin. Says you. Let's go. You're being ominous again. Sorry. Sorry. Martin! Shit! Shit! Stay with me! Don't let go! Oh. Come on! Shit! 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 It's okay! No! You're okay! No, no, no! It's not okay! This is not okay! Lindy, come on! Uh, are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I just. How about, how about you? You're not hurt? Uh. No. Good, no. good. Martin? Martin? Martin, I hate your tea and wish you made coffee instead. Right then. Okay. What's my middle name? Huh. You don't have one. Whoa. You... I actually believed oh, so, you. Sorry, sorry, I just, I just wanted to try it out. That's ridiculous, I thought. That's not a real name, but he wouldn't lie okay, to okay, me. Okay, 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 let's... 
Let's try something a little bigger, then. Well, I know that's a bad idea. Uh, do you? OK, no, that one was a very reasonable guess. Ah. Anything else? I'll, I'll be honest, I'm starting to feel a bit self-conscious, being a post-apocalyptic Google. Uh, um, John, what's wrong? It's, uh... I'm sorry, trying to know things about them directly, it's like... God, it's like looking into the sun. Okay, 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 all right, that's all right. We can leave it. Good. Ow. Hey, <laughs> hey, it's okay, it's okay. We'll go slow for a while. All right. Yeah. Yeah, there's no rush. Just say hello and check up on the happy couple. <laughs> I always knew you crazy kids would make it work. Thanks, Martin. I'm not leaving you on your own. Oh, such devotion. What? Just taking a moment to look. You two are just such an adorable couple. Enough. See you soon. Maybe she's right. I am not, nor have I ever been adorable. <clears throat> okay, not true. Never really liked merry-go-rounds anyway. No? You gone on any recently? What? Uh, no, I don't think so. Not since I was a kid. <laughs> I actually, uh... There's one at London Zoo. Uh, was one at London Zoo. Big old thing. Went quite fast, actually. Su surprisingly thrilling. <laughs> what? Seriously? It was years back, before the Institute. I, I was in a weird place. Had a good time, though. <laughs> well... I mean, obviously I wouldn't want to ride this one. We've got quite enough thrills already. Are you sure? I could speak to an attendant. I would advise against doing that. You're joking. I'm not. So was it any good? Uh, what do you mean? Was it a good poem? I don't know. No. You're the poetry expert, Martin, not me. Well, did it stir any feeling in you? Yes. Nausea. Because of the horrible things in it. That's not quite what I meant. Then I don't know what you mean, Martin. I'm not a poetry person. I don't get it. I never have. That's, that's fine. I understand. Look, I'm better than I was. I used to think all poetry was bad. Sorry, what? I mean, I just thought of... I sort of thought it was pointless. Just write some prose and stop wasting everyone's time. Hmm. What changed? I don't know. I just mellowed on it, I suppose. That's kind of weird. In my defence, there is a lot of bad poetry out there. I guess. Whoa! I... What was that? I, I destroyed it. K killed her. Are you kidding me? You, you obliterated her! You, you smoked her! We should, we should go. What about the merry-go-round? With her gone, is it, is it I, still I don't to... know. Yes, you did. I, I don't want to know. Pl we need to go, please. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Lead on. No. No, I actually think you're good on that front. What? Yeah, I, I, I think we should go for it. Get our murder on. Sorry, what? Yes, Martin. Th this isn't like it was before. We're not talking about innocent bystanders in cafes here, John. These things are... They're just evil, plain and simple, and right now they're torturing and tormenting everyone. If you want to stop them and have the power to, then... Then, then yeah, let's do it. Let's go full Kill Bill. I, I, I haven't seen it. It's weird, knowing that you can know literally everything I think and feel. Especially since you're not exactly the most open of people. Emotionally, I mean. Well, that's not fair. I share. Sure you do. I do. Okay, so how exactly would you describe your current emotional state regarding all of this? Go on, I'm all in. I feel... Mm hmm I feel... sad. Sad? Very sad. Very sad. Yes, all right, point taken. You said you could control it now. I can, I, I just... It... You're absolutely right. I will refrain from knowing anything about you. Thank you. Unless you're in danger. Physical danger. If I'm in danger of being mad at you or something, you've got to figure it out the old-fashioned way. Fine. Agreed. <laughs> S 
so, if you say Gertrude wouldn't have been able to go on without a reason... Yes, Martin, you are my reason. I just wanted to make you say it. Cool. Okay. Time you went for a walk. Yeah, about that. You sure you'll be okay on your own? I, I always have been. Okay. I mean, well, I don't like this place. Once again, Martin, that's sort of the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, all right, I get it. It's just, it's more than that. This place, what did you call it? The, the Rotten Corpse? The Corpse Roots. Yeah, yeah, that. Well, it, it feels... I don't know, it feels like it's... Waiting. Yeah, waiting. This is the one with the, um, the death guy, isn't it? This is Oliver Banks' domain, yes. So it's him that's waiting? Not just him, but yes. So are you going to smite him then? Um... John? John, I said, are you going I to... I heard you the first time. And? I... I don't know. Why not? Can't you just do what you did with that Sasha thing? Make the I see him and all that? I, I could, I think. Cool, so what's the problem then? Take another monster off the hit list, job done. It's not that simple. Well, what does that mean? What does that mean, John? What, what happened to Kill Bill? John? John, you said... I know what I said, and I don't... I don't know, Martin. I just, I don't think he's, I don't know, I don't think he's evil. Oh yeah, sure, he's probably a really kind, benevolent ruler of a hellish fear prison. It's just, he helped me. When I was, he woke me up. Wow, what a hero. Martin? What? What? Yeah, all right, I know. I'm sorry. Is there something you want to talk no, about? No, I'm or? fine, it's fine, everything's fine, I'm sorry. Martin? I said it's fine. Are you jealous? I told you not to know things about me. <laughs> I really didn't have I... to. Good. Because I'm definitely not. Alright. Look, I'm fine, alright? You said. Yes, I did. And, e and even if I was jealous, I would be perfectly justified anyway, so... But you're not. No. And I'm fine. Alright. Good. Good. Great. Right, fine, yes, yes, I am jealous, right? Yes, if you absolutely must know. Because he woke me up. I was there weeks and nothing. He talks to you for five minutes and suddenly you're back on your feet and bouncing around like a, like a spring I chicken. I mean, that's really I mean, what's not... what's so special about him that you wake up for him and not me, hmm? Enlighten me. I mean, that's, that's not really how it worked. It wasn't... Look, Martin, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'm not going to kill a man just because you're jealous. Why not? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Please. <laughs> Who knows, maybe he'll try to stop us getting through the roots, and I'll have to. Mm. But I'm not going to seek him out. At the very least, he's earned not having me hunt him down. Fine. I suppose that's reasonable. Now, if you're quite done inciting me to murder? Not murder. Smiting. Right, yes, yes, of course. You... you vomit your horrors. Mm. I don't, I'm not sure I like that metaphor. Puke your terrors? Just go. All right, all right, I'm going. <laughs> all right. If you really don't want to do this, we can go another way. Really? Really. My revenge... Well, let's just say you're more important. It's not just your revenge, though, is it? Destroying her... It would help all those people in there, wouldn't it? Maybe. It's... Like I said, I can't see the future. You wouldn't free them, if that's what you're asking. Free doesn't really exist in this place. Apart from us. I suppose. In a sense, though. How much of that is because we are trapped in our own quest okay, let's, to... let's not dive into another ontological debate right now, not here. Fair enough. So are we going in, or not? You're... 
you're asking me? I should have told you before, so I leave the decision to you. You know my feelings on the matter. I do? I... Oh, right. I want revenge on Jude Perry. I want to... smite her. Make her feel what... what all her victims have felt. But I'm not willing to force you to suffer for it. John, look out! What's wrong? Scared of a little flame? Oh, you are, aren't you? <laughs> Pathetic. Screw you! Leave him alone. Oh, I, I met someone. Did I tell you? He's... I, I don't know. I like him. He doesn't like me, though. Not really. I don't blame him. I don't like me sometimes, and I am me. Plus, he's... he's he, my, my boss? Is that right? E either way. It's probably for the best. Wouldn't really be appropriate. You don't need to worry, I'm not doodling his name on my desk or anything. <laughs> his, uh, his, his, um, his name. Wait. Wait, what is his name? I don't. Wait, why, why, why can't I remember his name? His, his face, I don't. No, 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 that's not right. I, I'm not alone. No, not alone. There's, there's... John? 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 John, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can't... It's... It's his place. I... Where are you? I need you. I need, I need you, John. Where, where... Where did you go? Please don't leave me. I can't do this on my own. Please. I'm not enough on my own. Alone. All, all alone. This isn't right. I shouldn't be here. I should be somewhere. Someone that there, there are people who trust me. People who love me. So why can't I remember them? Why, why can't I see them? And then I met John and John. 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 John, I'm here. John, I, I think I'm lost. I think I don't. John. Oh, they, they nod and respond and say, "No, Martin," or "Not now, Martin," or "Leave it, Martin." But funny thing is, I, I didn't ask them to do anything. I just, just wanted to see if they needed a hand. <laughs> is that me? Is, is that me? Martin, 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 Martin. Why did he leave me behind? Did, it, did he? Who, he? who? Who are you? Who am? John. 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 Yes, John. I remember him. I need to. I need to keep him here. If he can find me, I. He. He knows enough. Surely he knows enough to find me. But I can't. If I forget him, if if I forget me, maybe. Maybe there's nothing left to know. I want to find. Talking helps. Thank God you're here to listen. Just, just don't stop talking. You, you are Martin Blackwood. Yes, you, you didn't choose to be here. John is coming. I am Martin Blackwood and I am not lonely anymore. I am not lonely anymore. I want to have friends. I, no, I have friends. I'm, I'm in love. <laughs> I am in love, and I will not forget that. I will not forget. I am Martin, Martin. Black... What, John? Martin! Martin! Jo John, over here! Oh, Martin, hold on, I'm coming, I just... Oh, Martin. Thank God, I, I was... I, I thought you were behind me. I thought you'd left me behind. Gone on without no, me. No, never. No, never, I, I just... I, I didn't want to... Look too hard. I, I promised I wouldn't know you, and, and with the fog and, and all the rooms, I, I, I just I lost. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. No, I, I tried to use the, to know where you were, but it, it was, you you were faint. It was so strange. It, it took me so long just to find you. John, it's okay. I promise it's okay. This place tried. It really did. And honestly, I. I wanted to believe it, but 
But I didn't. This place, it... it... My God. Yeah. M Martin, if you did, if you wanted to forget all of it, stay here and just escape, uh, I would understand. No. It's comforting here, leaving all those painful memories behind, but it's not a good comfort. It's, it's, it's the kind that makes you fade, makes you dim and distant. Okay. Okay, good. I, I just... I wanted to make sure that you knew what this place was. It's the Lonely John. It's me. Not anymore. No. No. Not anymore. Oh, and who's this? Your boyfriend? Um... Yes, actually. Oh. John? I'm here. Are you okay? I'm... Great. You? I didn't want to put you through anymore. We should get going. You were listening. I, I... I thought that... No, I... Not for most of it. I just thought I heard... Something. Whatever. I went exploring, right? I don't know why I shouldn't have. No, you, you shouldn't have. You know how many stages there are in this place? How many little theatres? Yes. Yes, I do. Right, stupid question. Martin. Well, let's just say they have a full bill, all right? Martin, what? Why did you go looking? Can we just go, please? Of course, but... You were safe here. And after everything that's already happened, I... I just don't understand why you would... I mean... John? Hmm? John, are you all right? Uh, I, I mean, like, comparatively. I'm fine. <laughs> no. Try again. Look, I would just really like to get through here as quickly as possible. Yes. Tim, tell me what you want me to do and I will do it. Tell me about this place. I need to know. I thought you hated this. Are you sure that's what you want? Is it much further? Yes. I'm not entirely sure what you were expecting. It's the vast. The clue is in the name. Yes, all right. Just be glad that this is one of the domains that actually has ground to walk on. Whatever. So how far are we from the other side? And, and don't say time and space don't work here. That's a cop-out and you know it. Fine. Three days. Thank you. Wait. Wait, what counts as a day? What an excellent question. Oh my god, you can be infuriating sometimes, you know that. Yes. Fine, fine. I, I, I'm sorry, Martin. After meeting the child, I thought I'd been... I really hoped things would be simpler. You know? A nice... Straightforward apocalypse. No. No, I'm sorry. Cheerleading you when you're on a magical murder spree probably wasn't a great idea. I started it. Good point. <laughs> I'll keep my apology then. I do kind of wish you'd wait until after Fairchild to have your crisis, though. You really want that old man dead? I mean, sh yeah, sure. When you say it like that, it sounds bad. But what did he do to you? He threatened to throw me off a roller coaster. Ah. Okay, I, I know it sounds like a joke. No, but obviously I... he's an avatar of the vast. I understand it's a scary threat coming from him. Yeah. It just doesn't sound like a scary threat. Thanks for that. You know what? I am sitting down. Are you sure that thing is. It's not in great shape. Neither am I. I have been on my feet for a literally uncountable amount of time. How is it? Great. 
It's great. Lovely couch. Right. Well, rest up, I suppose. It's a two-seater. Yes, it is. Hard pass. Thank you. Right. Martin, do you trust me? What? Oh, Christ, this can't be good. Yes? Then it's very... Listen, look at me. The next couple of minutes are going to be quite unpleasant for one of us, and I'm sorry. Uh, so, what? You need to remain very calm, and don't make any sudden movements. How? You could do a poem. Shut up. It's okay. I understand. You done? Can we not have a moment? What's it like, being with someone who can see the inside of your head? Hmm? Oh, oh no he doesn't. Uh, I told him not to and so he tries to... look away? And you trust him to do that? Yes, I do. Or are you looking to take the long way round as the third wheel? I'll stick with the guys, thanks. You apologise too much. Martin says the same thing. Like he's any better. John, oh shit, 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 shit. Okay, 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 I've got you, I've got you. Ah, ah, ah sorry, ah, sorry, sorry. Ah. You, you need to keep pressure on that leg while I, I, I sort this. Um... Come on, I need to patch that leg up properly. The last thing we need is a limp slowing us down. Of course, that's assuming the bandages haven't transformed into snakes or something. Hmm? No, they're, they're fine. I'd forgotten we had them, to be honest. I packed them before I realised what a celebrity you were out here. <laughs> I was starting to think I'd never need them. I'm surprised you could hurt you all. Yes, that came as a bit of a shock to me as well, actually. You didn't know? I didn't think to check, just sort of assumed it was safe. That's a pretty big assumption, John. Hmm, apparently. I mean, I know it sounds strange, but it... It felt right for Daisy to be able to hurt me. Dream logic again? Hmm. The resonances from our relationship before the change carried over and... Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! Hold still. I'll, I'll start. I spy, with my little eye, something beginning with... T. Tombs. Cheater. I did not! Your turn. Fine. I spy, with my little eye, literally everything. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. It's a mystery. Just so you know, this this is an adorable look on you. Yes, by the way. yes, yes, yes. yes. <sighs> All right then, lead on, Scooby. Let's go solve a mystery. Woo. Thank you. Don't fret it. It's just nice to see you like this. Tell me what happened. No. I... I w what? <laughs> the look on your face. <laughs> look, he's so confused. <laughs> Martin! <laughs> sorry, sorry. You, you did look kind of funny. It was like, like you were flunking an exam or something. <laughs> Feeling better? Um, yeah. I'm afraid I am. All right. I'm sorry. I. It would have been nice to stay. Yeah. I'd almost forgotten what it was like, you know? A bit of peace. <laughs> I mean, you could have... Uh... No, don't say it, John. You know I never would. I, I can't just forget about all the people out here. Besides, I'd rather be trapped in a post-apocalyptic wasteland with you than spend one more moment in paradise with her. <laughs> that might just be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Yeah, yeah. We stayed in Salasis as long as you could. A bit longer, actually. I was uh, not really holding it together by the end. Why didn't you say something? It's fine. I'm fine. But yet now. I just thought, oh, with Daisy and Basira, and you needed a break. Some time to process. We both did. But apparently I'm the only one who got to. It's okay. 
I deal with things differently these days. I just wanted to make sure that you were doing okay. Was I wrong to hold off? No. No, you weren't. <laughs> just getting the chance to sleep again was... Oh well. Good while it lasted. Come on then. Nightmare hospital it is. Would it help if I told you we were actually starting to get a bit closer to London? Well, what was London? Actually, yes. That does help a bit. <laughs> really? What? No? Sorry, it felt like a good line. No, no, it, it was. I just... I don't know. I, you did the look and... It's fine. Sorry. The eye is fond of you. If you're sure. I'm sure I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Let's go. Don't put yourself down. It's not your fault you're a bit overshadowed. I am such a very big deal after all. Oh, very big ass, more like it. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, Uncle Ben. <laughs> Pop culture? Really? I'm allowed to know what Spider-Man is. It's okay to want a bit of space now and then. New romance is hard, and Armageddon makes it even harder. Never mind the fact that you're metaphorically joined at the hip thanks to the whole Eye Lord thing. It's okay to want some space. We could talk to John about it. We could. But we both know that loved ones make the worst therapists. Like with John when we thought the worms had got him. Hey, to be fair, he still kind of hated me back then. I'm really not sure it would have been the best time to take my shot. Fair. He was projecting hard. Between us, that guy's got some real issues. Hey, pretty sure we love that guy. Uh, yeah, and all his many, many problems. Fine. But also... You know that's not what I'm talking about. It's this... this fantasy that you have that... that whatever you find at the top of the Panopticon is just going to solve everything. I don't... You do, though. You daydream about it. The big climactic showdown with Elias, and then the two of you kiss and push a button that just magically saves the world and makes everything better. Are we going to have to kill John? I don't know, because you don't know. But it seems like something we should at least consider. I have thought about it, and I won't. I, I don't think I could. Mm -hmm. But anything else? Any other price? I'll pay it. Even dying. Pierre! John's as bad as we are. He wouldn't let it happen. But if he sees it up close, he might try to get his boyfriend to smite you. And for all his bleeding heart, Martin's just as bad, worse, even, in some ways. Yes, he is. It's a door that says, Honeymoon Suite. Currently unoccupied. I turn to retrace my steps. I, I must have taken a wrong turn. Just in case you and Martin were looking for a room. How long? Plus, I... I was a little bit jealous as well. Of what? Of Helen. Well, the, the real Helen. I found the tape when you were on the run, and... I don't know. Something about the way you two seemed to connect when she came in. Speaking of, uh, you and John, eh? Hmm? Congrats. Oh. <laughs> Honestly? Uh, well, these were not the early relationship hurdles I expected. God, tell me about it. But don't get me wrong. Georgie's incredible. And she's far, far too good for me. And I, I only hope she doesn't realise that while there's an apocalypse on. But, uh, yeah. And what about John? Oh, you know John. He's a complete mess, but so am I. And I think we're making it work. Communication can be... Difficult when you're on an unholy pilgrimage. <laughs> Modern dating, eh?
places you can sleep, so I... So what? You were sleeping with your eyes open again. Oh, all right. Just took me by surprise. Sorry. Not something I can help, I'm afraid. No, I, I, I know, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. <sighs> Bad dream? Is there any other kind? Fair. Speaking of, how are your dreams? I know they used to be... You know, complicated. Oh, I don't know. I don't really remember them anymore. Honestly, it's not really even sleep these days. I can only do it when I'm disconnected from, well, everything. And it's more like, you know that feeling when you're right on the edge of falling asleep? Not quite dreaming, but not aware of stuff either. <laughs> so like standby mode then? <laughs> I suppose. What was I like at Salacers? Oh, you just completely conk out. Eyes open, obviously, because God forbid the creepy ever stops entirely. <laughs> but Thank you. You'd just be dead to the world. I actually got a bit worried once or twice, but you always woke up fine. You said you didn't dream. You sounded pretty happy about it too. I imagine I was. Martin, when the time comes, I need you to promise me that you won't try to stop me. I promise. I love you, John. <laughs> I love you too. But I'm not going to doom the world over it. Thank you. And you have to promise me that you're going to do everything in your power to live. That you're not going to sacrifice yourself at the first opportunity just because you feel guilty about what happened. I promise. Good. God, I hate these conversations. Yep. Heavy stuff. I miss small talk. We could talk about the weather for a bit, if you like. <laughs> bit difficult underground. True. Yeah, in that case, I might see if I can get a bit more sleep. Rest up a bit before, uh, well, you know. Sure. Wake me if they get back. Of course. If that's the most compelling argument you have, I'm going to go and apologize to my boyfriend. Martin? Martin, I'm... I'm sorry. You're right. I... Shh, I... Please, I, I need to concentrate. Are you all right? We, I, I need to talk to the, uh, the, the, the prophets. What's going on? Now! Any luck? Nothing. Is Georgie back yet? Not yet. But then she actually needs to go places to look at them. She can't just pop up top and check the big picture. Melanie, please. Not now. It, it, it means there's, there's no way I can find hey, them. Hey, hey, I... hey, keep it together. Okay, Georgie might have better luck. She's actually looking in person. And from what you said... Yeah, no, I, I mean, that, yeah. that could work, but, but if she finds them alone... Uh, I mean, if anything were to happen... Well, not quite nothing. Not for me. It doesn't matter. Martin's here, and we need to find him. I was gonna snatch you away, lure you both into this web, and then take you. Drive him to despair, so that when you return to him, bulging and talking in a thousand tiny voices, it would drive him to a final push. And now? <sighs> Your bond is too complicated. I couldn't drive that kind of risk between you now. 
I've considered every angle, examined every cause and effect, and have finally come to the conclusion that I... I need to tell you the truth. To explain things. When John gets here, he is going to kill you. You get Martin to safety, then I deal with Annabelle Kane. Right. I think we should hear her out first. Excuse me? Before you deal with her, we should try to get some answers. All of this, taking Martin. She wants to talk. She's had plenty of chances. She didn't need to kidnap him. Sure, but maybe she... What? What's with the look? How are you feeling, Basira? Do you want to look inside my head? See if it's full of spiders? I... No. I'm sorry, I, I trust you. How are you feeling? Yes, all right, you don't need to make a point. Yes, I do. You're too close to this, and I need to make sure you aren't going to do anything dumb. Situation like this, we can't make rash assumptions. Right? Right. But if she hurts Martin, all bets are off. If she hurts Martin, I'll be right there with you. I thought you liked his voice. I do when it's his voice. I never liked the statements. It always felt... Yeah. Annabelle Kane. Hello, John. Basira. Hard down, Martin. You wouldn't want to slip off, would you? Let him go. Not just yet. Ceaseless watcher. See this scuttling thing. Uh, Take uh, it. Put him down. Very well. Martin, you okay? Mm-hmm. You know, we'd probably be more willing to listen if you hadn't kidnapped our friend. I did it. He came of his own free will. Mm. Free will, she says, as we stand in the middle of a fucking web. <laughs> a fair point. But that's a debate for another time. I simply mean I did not bring him here through force, threat, or false pretense. I made an offer, and he agreed. Martin, is this true? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Told you. We'll talk about it later, once you're safe. Give us Martin. As you wish. <laughs> <coughs> John! Martin! <coughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I, it's fine. I didn't realize we'll that. Talk later. So I figured she had come to kill you, John. Me? What about you? What about me? I didn't really think I was important enough to kill. Wow, Martin, that's. Shocker, I have self esteem issues. Not the point. Anyway, she said she knew what you were planning to do, what would happen to you in there, and... And then she said she knew another way. One way you'd be okay, but she couldn't tell me, she had to show me. And you took her at her word? But obviously not, but if she was telling the truth, it seemed worth the gamble. Why didn't you come and get me? Because she said if I did, she'd leave without me, and then... Well... We'd have had to stick with crappy plan A, and you'd... You'd end up gone. Okay, look, I, I admit it wasn't great judgement, okay? But I didn't see another choice. I figured you were safe enough with the girls, and well... You were angry. <sighs> yeah. Right. And if I could give you another way out, it had to be worth the danger. Even if it was kind of... Reckless? A long shot. Hmm. Plus... I knew you'd follow me and save me if things got bad. Look, I'm, so, I'm sorry I worried you. It's okay. But it does look like I was right. If she was actually on the level. Well, yeah. And if she was, she went about it in a really weird... Manipulative way. Yeah. Big surprise. But she did kind of hold up her end. Hmm. I could have done without all the webbing, though. Still sticky. Well, 
It's over now and you're safe. That's all that matters. Martin! Martin, are you all right? Mm-hmm. I did warn you. Mm-hmm. Are you good to keep going? Yeah, just... Just... Yeah... Martin, would it help to know that if you do fall, you'll be okay? Define okay. Uh, uh, you wouldn't die. Yeah, but it would still hurt, wouldn't it? Yes. But not as much and as... Crucially, if... it would still feel like I'm falling an incredible distance, wouldn't it? I mean, you would still be falling an incredible distance. You just wouldn't die when you hit the bottom. Thanks. And I'm glad you've got him. He's all yours. Thanks. You all right? Yeah. Sorry it got so heated in there. Don't be. I'd have been more worried if you were super calm about it. Yeah. I'd understand if you hate me right now. What? No. No, Martin, I love you. I always will, and I know you love me too. I mean... That's it, isn't it? That's the real core of it. You want to save me? I want you to save yourself. <sighs> Sometimes... I imagine if none of this had happened. If we had just met being together without all of this. Me too. But we wouldn't have, would we? Been together, I mean. I, w what do you mean? Well, we had that, didn't we? Almost a year of just working a normal job together, and you hated me. I didn't hate you. No, 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 no. I listened to those tapes. At one point you explicitly said you'd be fine with me being chopped up by that old jigsaw lady. Oh, God, Angela. <laughs> She's still about, you know. Lording it over a nasty little flesh domain. Anyway, I didn't explicitly say it. I implied it. Face it, John. It took almost two years of crisis and trauma to even make us compatible. And that sucks. But here we are. And I don't want it to be for nothing. I won't let it. That's very sweet of you, Martin. Sort of. Thank you. Wherever you go, I go. That's it. You promised to let me go, if I had to. And you promised not to go if there was any other choice. And there is. So that's the deal. That's the deal. I guess that's why it really bothers me, you know. I try, but I can't actually imagine ever making a decision that I knew meant losing you. And it... It hurts to know you can. You didn't damn the world, Martin. We all... No, we world. all... Nothing. Uh, I'm the one who caused all of this. That's just the truth of it. I'm the one whose whole life has been nothing but one long setup to this. John. You didn't speak the words. You didn't feel them move through you, vomiting out of you like... I did this. It's my fault. And I don't want... I can't let anyone else feel that. That helpless, enormous guilt. Ever. Hey. hey, 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 come here, come here. We're going to fix it. No. We're just going to pass it on. You don't know that. The others will be waiting. John? John! Martin, what are you doing here? Oh, thank God. Just, just, just stop what you're about to do, okay? I know that you think that... Hey. What's that? 
Elias. Jonah Magnus. He's... You didn't. I'm sorry, Martin. You didn't. No, 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 no. This is... You can't. I did. I am. Why? You know why. I can't let them out. I can't. Not again. What have you done, John? Go tell the others. It's over. No, no you don't understand. What? I'm sorry, John. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I saw you had gone and, and I knew that you... You couldn't help yourself. You never could. I knew you'd lied to me, that you were going in alone. Martin, what did you do? I told them to go early. To do it straight away and I'd keep you talking until they were done. Oh, Martin. I didn't think you'd go through with it, not without me. I can't believe you'd do this, that you'd leave me like this. You swore to me. You swore to me, you bastard. Martin, I'm still here. Are you? How much of you is even left now? It's still me, Martin. I'm still here. How would you even know? I'm sorry, Martin, I am, but it's done. You can hate me, you can scream at me, but it won't change anything. I had to do this, and you promised. Don't you dare say that. Don't you dare. I'm sorry. We can still be together here until it's over. You're not listening. You never listen. They are down there buying those things and lighting it right now. It's fine, Martin. I'll call off the servitors. They can't light it if they don't have... If they don't... Wait up. Oh. Oh, no. John! Martin, I... Ah. John, we have to get out of here. I can't. I can't. Martin, I'm part of this place. God damn it, John! I can withstand it. I just told you. Oh, come on, John! Come on! No. I can feel the ball, the web, the tapes it wants. No. I won't let it. For God's sake, John, move! I can't. Martin, get out of here. What's going to be left of me after this? You can't see that. No! I can't protect you from this. Go! I'm not leaving you trapped here, killing the world while I watch. If you stay, you'll die. Then I'll die. No! Ah! Yes, please. I can't lose you. Not like this. Tom. Okay. Where you go, I go. That's the deal. Okay. What? Do it. The night's just there. Let them go. I'm not going to kill you. Cut the tether. Send them away. Maybe we both die. Probably. But maybe not. Maybe. Maybe everything works out. And we end up somewhere else. Together. One way or another. Together. I don't think I can. It has to be you. The I won't let me do it. Are you sure about this? No. But I love you. I love you too. Epiphany by M. K. Blackwood I was not expecting this. This was so much more. You have stayed, the hungry hunters. You have locked death's door. For all your skulking, slinking, sneering, for all I was fearing, I was not expecting this. For you to step into the light and reveal yourself. I see you. I see the lamb you hide under the wolf's skin. I was... Ah, Martin! 
What are you mm. up to? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Notes. <laughs> I, uh, notes, yes. Mm. <laughs> Taking uh, notes. I have. Can, can uh-huh. I help you? Oh, uh, I thought I'd see how Quarantine Sleepaway Camp is treating you. Oh. Brought down a change of sheets for your cot, so I thought you might need it. Oh, that's... Thanks, Tim. That's, that's really kind. Anything on your mind? Oh, <laughs> plenty. Homesick. <laughs> Mortal terror, you mm. know, the usual. Mm. I, I was mm-hmm. actually thinking of trying to go see my mum, but, mm. well, the the worms mm. and, you know, plus sometimes she can be... Mm. Ca- yeah, that's of... great. Anything else? What? Oh, come off it, Martin. I saw you in the break room the other day. How do you mean? Sasha and I were hosing down some of our little visitors with a friendly CO2 bath, and you could hardly be bothered by any of it. You were just there, staring wistfully off into space, running a finger around the rim of your mug. I was distracted. You like someone. (coughs) Well, that's... I mean, Mm. (laughs) I could... Mm -hmm. I I, I really don't. Called it. Sasha owes me a fiver. Mm. So, who is it? I don't have to tell you anything. Is it Rosie? I know you've been talking about her a lot is, lately. Is, is, is this an interrogation now? So it is Rosie. Oh, no, it's, not, it's not Rosie. Oh, Tim, listen. All right, all right. We're getting somewhere. Oh, oh, it's not David, is it? What? Oh, Martin, you can do better. I mean, did you see what well, he it, was it, wearing? It, it, it's not David, and I don't want to do this. Okay. Now, if you could just I please mean, let me get Hannah's back to. Hannah's married. <sighs> but that doesn't necessarily <sighs> mean that it's not of the, her. Of the, no, no, or, no. Wait, are you being so dodgy about this because it's one of us? <laughs> this is Sasha, is it? Tim, I'm literally begging you. All right, fine, fine. Have it your way. Keep your precious secrets, but between you and me, can I at least offer you a little advice? I get the feeling you're going to anyway. Look, nobody's going to notice you if you don't notice yourself first. What? Okay, look, that came out wrong. Look, what I mean is, take care of yourself. Because I know you, Martin. You will give yourself away until there's nothing left of you to love. That's not fair. Oh, it's true. And you know it. Maybe. Look, I'm telling you this as a friend. Just think about it, okay? Whoever this is, they'll see... They'll see how great you are, not because of what you have to give away, but because of where you stand firm. And after all of... Well, whatever the hell's been happening here, you deserve something for yourself. Hey, that... That really means a lot. Thanks, I... I will think about it. Good. All right, well, I'm going to head out. I've got some books to take back to the library. Take care of yourself, too. Always do. Pew, pew. Right, wh- where was I? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I was not expecting this for the sharp pain of jaws to give way to you. Oh, oh my god, Tim, Tim, Sorry. normal people not. Sorry. Normal people not, Sorry. Tim. Hey, it's not me, is it? Would you stop? Because if it is, you know, dance card's open. Just go away, just go away, Just putting Tim. it out there. All right. All right. Okay. You cannot hide from me any longer, but I will try to hide from you. What? 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 What What are you so irritable about? Oh. (laughs) I've just been having a bit of a time, you know? Mm, Haven't we all? What did Tim want? He was grinning. Tim? Uh, Oh, um, we were comparing notes on the Hither Green case. Oh. I see. Did you get anywhere? Maybe. Too soon to tell. All right, well, keep me updated. Uh, I also wanted you to try and track down a Mr. Marcus McKenzie. His father gave a statement in 2003. I'm trying to follow up. A bit worried about this one. What? You, the the father of all scepticism, worried? (laughs) Just because I don't think it happened doesn't mean I can't be worried. Oh. Uh, you all right? What? Down here, I mean. Uh, After everything, but out of house and home. It's not exactly five-star accommodations. Oh. (laughs) You don't need to worry about me. I believe I've made my case for being entitled to worry, Martin. Of course. Well, uh, really, I'm I'm fine. All right. Well, in that case, get back to work. Just because you're living here doesn't mean it's not still a place of business. You 
You're not fooling me. Oh. Uh, John, please just, just, just stop reheating tea in the microwave. Uh, I'll take care of you. It's rotten work. Not to me. Not if it's you. John, why isn't Lonely Eyes our ship name? I have done nothing wrong ever on my life. I know this, and I love you. John, uh, did you hear about the explosion at the cheese shop? What? What cheese shop? Yeah. Debris was everywhere. This apocalypse has officially gone on for too long. Hello, John. Apologies for the deception, but I would like to remind you, I love you. Um, Martin, I'm very sorry for ever saying that I hated your tea. It's, it, it's okay, some things are more important than tea. Martin and I have this connection where we finish each other's... Sentences. Uh, don't interrupt me. I've been asked why I changed my opinion on poetry. I do not know this. This information is unattainable, such as it is. Not even my endless resources could solve such a mystery. No, I did not fall in love with a poet on purpose. Next question. Thank you so much for asking, John. My ideal date uh, would, <laughs> would be getting home after a long day, curling up next to a roaring fire, and listening to Rusty Quill Gaming. It's a, it's a podcast that's distributed by Rusty Quill. Oh yes, I've heard of it. It's not very good. The world ended. And, and that is super not poggers. You're right, Martin. Very not poggers indeed. Roses are red and violets are blue. I, I'm, I'm definitely not a ghost and, John, I love you. Please, please stop drinking tea by just putting the bag in your mouth and just chugging hot water. I'm cultured, Martin. God, John, why don't you ever wear your own clothes? I like your sweater. It makes me feel... It makes you feel like a thief! No, it makes me feel safe. Oh, John. I'm sorry. You were stabbed? Lightly stabbed. I didn't want to frighten you. Blartin, uh, <laughs> that is Paul Blartin, Martin Cop, is on his Segway, and, he, and I asked John is sitting on the handlebars. He is facing Blartin in a koala-esque brace, which is not quite an embrace, but rather for structural support. His ass eyes are out and alert. He knows all. Petty theft perishes under their collaborative iron fist. You're a child, an infant. Your mocking is thus infantile. He's not my boyfriend. This man is more to me than you can dream. He's the moon when I'm lost in darkness and warmth when I shiver in cold. And his kiss still thrills me even after a millennia. His heart overflows with the, kind, with the kindness of which this world is not worth of. I love this man beyond measure and reason. He's not my boyfriend. He's all, and he's more. You're an incurable romantic. Hey, sorry, you haven't seen a dog, have you? <laughs> I'm s sorry, what? A, a, a dog, a s spaniel, I think. So, it, in general, or...? <laughs> No, in the archives. Why would there be a dog in the archives? Oh, because, well... Who I mean, are you? Uh, 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 ma ma Martin, I... And because I may have... L let him in? What? Why? Oh, <laughs> well, I, di I didn't mean to, you know. Uh, uh, we were outside making friends, and, and then... <laughs> I, I, I had to come in, but y y my hands were full, and, you know, the door's really heavy. <laughs> so, so I had to use my foot, and then he just sort of... Like, got past Why me. were you coming into the archives? Oh, uh, I, I work here. No, you don't. <laughs> I requested Tim, and I requested Sasha, and you are neither. Oh, oh, oh! You're Jonathan Sims, yeah. Um, Mr. Bouchard said I'd, I'd be working for you. Well, you didn't tell me anything about it. He, uh, he said that, um, well, he transferred me from the library, so. So I'm your boss. 
I mean, I guess. <laughs> Which means that, technically, I have the power to dismiss you if this dog situation is not resolved immediately. I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes. R- right, yes, sorry. Uh, I'll... S- sorry. <laughs> S- sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 